In this class, we are going to learn about the concept of events in Oracle Integration 3. I am here in the official documentation page by Oracle that is using integrations in Oracle Integration 3. From the table of content, you have to go to this create integrations to publish and subscribe to events. Under that, you have to go to this about section. Basically, events in Oracle Integration 3 are similar to what we had in Gen 2 version of Oracle Integration that is publish and subscribe pattern with the help of which we used to create the integration. So, we can make use of events in Oracle Integration 3 if you are migrating your projects from Oracle Integration Gen 2 to the Oracle Integration 3 version. Now, in other words, events can be attributed as these are similar to the messaging queues. Suppose one integration we have built which will be triggered whenever an order is placed from an application. Now, any order is created, it will carry the order information like the order ID, what is the order has been placed, like the order line items, what are the items involved in the order, so and so forth things. Whenever an order has been placed, our integration will be triggered and we need this same information to be communicated to n number of integrations. Now, how we can achieve is, once our main integration gets triggered, we can publish the message to the event with the help of JSON message, I will talk about that shortly. And this event where the message has been published, we can build a number of integrations which can subscribe to those events and get the information, in this case the order information. Same thing has been told over here by Oracle that is the publish and subscribe feature will enable you to decouple the producers and the subscribers. Like one integration will receive the message and it can push the message to the queue or the event and the subscriber integrations can dequeue the message from that queue or the event. So, this decoupling will enable you to define an event and start the building your subscribers that is for the event before the event is published. So, in order to achieve this use case that is when you create the subscriber integration a new pattern has been introduced by Oracle that is the event based pattern. I will talk about that shortly when we go in the hands on section. In order to define the event we have to provide the JSON sample. The events at the time of recording this class supports only the payload in JSON format. So, we will talk about that how it looks. Now, coming to the step by step approach, Oracle has documented each and every step which we need to do in order to achieve the use case that is to build the subscriber and the publisher integration with the help of event. First step is we have to create the event. The event as I told it supports only JSON formatted sample in order to define the payload in the event. For example, our JSON samples look something like this if you are creating an event to hold the patient information like from department to department patient ID or the order information like order ID, seller details, date, so and so forth. We can construct this payload and create an event. Then next is we have to have an integration. In the integration, we will be having this public event action. So under the actions, we will have this public event. Whatever event we have created, it will be available over here in the list of events when we drop the action in our integration canvas. Suppose if we have named our event as patient mood, so we can make use of that event over here in the action. So we can activate this integration whenever the information or this integration is triggered. So it will push the message to this event. It is similar to the messaging queue concept. If we will have one more integration like one to n number of integration that is subscriber integration which will subscribe to the events that is raised from this publisher event and they will read the message as I told the message will be in the JSON format. Now, when we create the subscriber integration, we have to select the event integration pattern from the list of patterns available. Then we have to select the patient mode, same event we have to select whatever we have selected in the publishing integration, that similar thing we have to select in the subscription integration because we have to get the message which is published over here. Then we have to just activate and just trigger the integration. Now, before going into the hands on and see how to build this integrations from scratch in Oracle integration 3, we have to look at few of the restrictions. Currently, at the time of recording this class, maximum of 20 integrations can subscribe to an event per service instance. So, if you are creating a subscriber integration which will subscribe to a particular event, then we can have only 20 integrations built or simultaneously active which will subscribe to this event. Also, you cannot create an event based integration pattern in a project. Suppose if you are building your integration within a project, then you cannot have this within the project. We have to create the integration in the global designer. Similar like that, we cannot create the publish event action to an integration within the project. So, if you have this event based or publish event action to be used within their integration, then you have to build your integration outside the project that is in the global section. Without wasting much time, let us begin with our hands on. Once you have logged into your Oracle integration 3 instance, you have to go to this designer. From the list of options from the menu, you have to select the events. So, once you land into this event section, you will see publish and subscribe. So, this is exactly the pattern which we had in the Oracle integration Gen 2 that is publish and subscribe pattern, but that has been translated to event in Oracle integration 3. 
Now the first step in the event design life cycle is we have to create the event. Now let's create the event by clicking on this create button over here. Here we have to provide some name. Let me just provide the name as order event. You can name this event as per your project naming conventions. Click on continue. Here we have to define the sample. Let me just provide here dummy order ID 123. Next is the item. Let me make this as a string. Let me tell here as a phone. This is just a sample and then comes the date. Let me just give some dummy date 12, 10, when was the order placed 20, 23, something like that. Let me make this as a string. Done. So once you have provided the sample JSON over here, you can click on create. Optionally, you can also upload the file that is the JSON file if you have created already with the help of notepad or some other tool. If not, you can make use of this editor in order to build. Both the options are supported by Oracle integration. Click on create. So we have successfully created this event that is order event. Under the usage, it will show the account of integrations which are making use of this event. Currently, it is zero because we have freshly created this event. Next step in the event design life cycle is we have to create the publish integration. We will see how to do that now. Once you have created the event, next you have to go to this integrations option within the design. Click on create. As we are creating a publishing integration, we have to select either application or schedule integration. When we create the subscriber integration that is subscribing to an event, we have to select this event pattern. So this is the new thing which has been introduced in Oracle integration 3. For the time being, we will select this schedule. Let me provide the name over here, something like order publish event in, click on create. You can provide the name for the integration as per the naming convention you have used in your project. Now next, we have to drop here the event action. Also, it will be available over here. If you click on this, it will be over here under the call that is publish event. Just drag and drop it over here. Once you drag and drop, it will list all the events available in your instance. Select this, click on finish. Automatically, it will be adding the mapper over here. To map the details, click on edit. Let me populate quickly the dummy details. Let me just hard code, but in your case, you shouldn't hard code this. You will be getting the data dynamically from some source application. Let me just edit and here provide as electric pan. Click on vary date and the date I will provide today's date that is 28 June 2023. Click on validate. Click on validate the mapper. Go back. So that's it. Whenever integration gets triggered from some action or an event, like whenever the order has been created in Fusion or any application, this integration will be triggered. For time being, for the demonstration purpose, I have created it as a schedule integration. In your case, you could have this as a app driven integration. So, once we receive the data, we will publish that data to the event like this. Let me just quickly activate this integration by populating the business identifiers. Done. Click on save. Go back. Let me activate this. Our integration got activated successfully, that is, publish event integration. Next step in the design lifecycle for an event is creating the subscriber integration. In order to create the subscription integration, we have to select this event integration pattern from the list of patterns available in your instance. Now, let us see how to build this subscriber integration. In order to create the subscriber integration, click on this create button. We have to choose this tab, event pattern. Let me just provide the name as subscriber event underscore int let me just name this as one we will clone this integration and create multiple copies so that we can test like one event will be able to be consumed by multiple subscriber integrations click on create once your integration canvas opens up automatically we will get something like this a drawer in the ui in your integration canvas you have to select the event you have to make sure you are selecting the same event which you have selected in the publisher integration I have selected the event. Now let me just add some dummy action over here. In your case, you could be having a number of things within this integration canvas like logging the details to database or syncing it with some other application. In my case, this is a demonstration integration. I don't have such use case. I'm just logging the details over here. Let me just simply activate this integration by populating the business identifier. Done. Go back. Click on save. Let me activate this integration.
our integration that is subscriber event integration 01 got activated successfully let me create one more subscriber integration for the same event that is by cloning this first integration that is subscriber integration click on clone here instead of 01 i will provide as 02 click on clone straight away i will activate this integration as we don't have to modify anything within the integration but in your actual use case, if you want to sync the details to one application with one integration, another integration you are using to sync the information with some other integration, then you can modify the second integration where the logic to sync the details will differ. Like one integration will sync the details to Salesforce, next integration will sync the details to SAP, so and so forth things. So once our integrations get successfully activated, next step is we have to test and validate the event in order to verify if subscription and publishing events are working as expected or not. We have completed the design life cycle for an event that is we have created the event first of all in this module then we have created a publisher event integration then we have created couple of subscriber event integration. In this class we will test this integration and validate whether events are working as expected or not. In order to test our publishing integration we have to manually trigger this as this is a schedule integration. In your case if it is app driven then you have to create the events which will trigger or invoke your integration. Let me just run this. I have successfully triggered this integration by running an ad hoc request. If you see, we are getting the message like it has published the details. Here is the processing completed successfully. Now let's refresh this and check in the observability whether it has triggered or not. If you see, we are having one publishing event and couple of subscriber events. Let me just click on this. Here if you see, we are having 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 as a order ID. That is for integration, that subscriber integration event 01. Let's verify for the second one. Let's go back to this integrations observability. Click on the second one. Here if you see we are having the same order ID. So like this we can make use of events in Oracle integration 3 in order to decouple publishing and subscriber integrations. With the help of this loose coupling we can sync the details like the order information in this case with n number of applications. Provided you have to create only maximum of 20 subscriber integrations for a particular event and you cannot have published event action nor you can make use of event design pattern for an integration within the project. You have to make use of this global integration designer only in order to build your integrations if you are making use of events.